Right, Righto, on Coach's Corner today, we're going to look at consistency in your bowls. Now, people will try and say, well, what do you mean consistency in your bowls? So what we're trying to do, I actually now do this drill as a warm-up drill. So all you need is a mat. That's it. Right, we're not bowling to a jack. What we're trying to do is put down, you got your four bowls. So what we're trying to do, you put down your first bowl, deliver your first bowl. And then what we're trying to do is land your next three bowls next to that first bowl. Now, if you're doing this to start, so as a warm up, you haven't, you, this is your first time you've hit the green, it doesn't matter what line you take on your first bowl because, again, it's all experimental. All we're trying to do is put the same four bowls down each and every time. So if you're slightly inside the normal line and it, and it cuts across the line, bad luck, follow your other bowls. If it's wide and doesn't hit the mark, same thing. Send the others wide. Just put, try and put your four bowls next to each other. Now, what this actually does is allows you, so if you play a decent shot, a really good shot in pennant for your first bowl, you know next time you can actually stand on the mat and do exactly the same bowl. Now, I've done it a few times. Actually, was in the regional singles um, a couple of weeks ago, and I put down a really good bowl, probably half a metre behind Jack, if that, a couple of feet. Second bowl, put one right next to it. Third bowl, put it right next to the other two. Um, and then one of my mates behind me was sitting there going, no chance you're doing it at a fourth time Clarkie and bang, put one down right next. So basically had a semicircle behind the kitty about two foot behind. So I was confident enough to stand on the mat and go, right, I knew, I understood how that felt. I knew the feeling out of the hands. I knew the body movement. And again, it's all sort of getting the body also used to, and muscle memory, used to putting down the bowl the, exactly the same way every time. And what that also brings is muscle memory, so your weight control becomes a lot better. So let's get on with the drill. I've got a camera down the other end. I hope I don't make a gig of myself and, and have my bowls spread all over the place. But again, this is television, so I can do a couple of takes. <laughs> I'll try and do it live, but we'll see what happens. Because um, the other thing is, I've got to hold a microphone while I'm bowling. So let's give this a go and we'll see what happens. So again, get your first bowl. All right, I generally go for the peg and on this green, I will at the moment. Put it down. Okay, I've only gone a shortish kind of length just so the camera up the other end can pick it up. Right, so right -o. So it's cut the line, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to put down exactly the same bowl. I was off balance on that one. As you could see, I actually stumbled off the mat, which is not the best thing, which means the bowl's going to be nowhere near it. So there we go. Live television. Not live television, live YouTube, if you know what I mean. Now, this third bowl will be pretty close if I can get under that second bowl, which I can. So there's two next to each other. Try and put down a third one exactly the same. I might stalk this one. Yep, and that's going to be pretty close to the money again. So there's three bowls out of the four that I've put down. Now, I generally tell my first, second year bowlers, try and get two close, and you're doing pretty well. Uh, as we go along, try and get three close. Now I'm trying to get four basically next to each other within a match length. And again, if you're a beginner, try and get two within a metre of each other. Try and get two or three within a metre of each other. Then try and squash it down. Move, move your space, make it a match length. Then as you're getting better, you know, make it three. Try and make it four, but you're always trying to make four, but just try and make three. And again, it's a fantastic drill just to get used to putting down the same bowl, same delivery, and then you can change your lengths. Change your lengths, because there's no jack to point to, so you can play whatever length you like, but again, it's, it's a good warm-up drill for one, and for two, it just builds muscle memory, especially if you've changed or have been working on your delivery, you've tweaked it slightly, right, you've got to get that muscle memory into your body. So there we go, that's the drill. Like I said, I try and encourage everybody at the bowls club, uh, to do six ends for their warm-up. Uh, I'll do six to eight, just so, again, I'm, I'm always tweaking and there's slight tweaks, hands and things like that. 
on my delivery. Uh, try and get little gremlins outside. Generally do eight ends. Um, but again, if, every, if you do it and you do it consistently, do it as you warm up. Right, start really short and then get longer and longer and longer. Uh, you find your game will become a lot better. I know mine has. It's probably improved at another 10%. So there you go. This episode of Match Jackson Balls is proudly brought to you by Hooded Life, your one-stop shop for all your bowling club needs, both on and off the green, in collaboration with Bowlswear Australia. Best service, best products, competitive prices. Go to www.hoodedlife.com.au and get hooded.